I got a fun coffee for you all, and that is Mod Cups Wush Wush Three Day Dry Fermentation. Wow, this coffee is expressive. Let's go right into it. So Mod Cup coming out of Jersey City, New Jersey. We've featured them before in our limited releases, and now I'm very happy to get them on Secret Stash. This is a coffee that I've chosen because I. it's been a while since I've had a coffee that is just this explosive when it comes to flavors. And, and this is an explosion of flavors coming from good processing and also come from really great roasting. You know, first of all, let's smell the beans. It really smells like in an orange chocolate, or if you've ever had like thing like a Ghirardelli citrus orange chocolate uh, bar, that is really what this smells like. And a lot of that kind of gets into the cup too. Um, I'll just read a little bit about this. Aerobic fermentation is a process. So this is a three day dry fermentation. Aerobic fermentation is a process where coffee is left to ferment naturally with only time and temperature being checked. Fresh hand picked cherries are put in a tank of water and left uh, there for about 72 hours. And basically they're like microbes and yeast in there that get attracted to the cherries. It imparts this interesting processing flavor on the coffees um, and gives that booziness and whininess to the coffee, but it's not really, um, it, it's, it's, it's really like a complimentary whininess. So it's really fun to taste. I'm really excited to just begin brewing. Let's go ahead and uh, do that right now. But wow, what a fun coffee. Woo, your house is gonna smell crazy when you're brewing this. Wow. Such interesting aromatics. Um, I, I would say a lot of that whininess is coming out of chocolate, citrus. Uh, a lot of these are what you will actually end up finding uh, in the cup. Perfumey, smells sweet. A lot, of, a lot of stuff's happening with this coffee. The other thing that I think is interesting is actually the complexity that is added because of the processing. So we're not only tasting, oh, this is just one flavor note or one thing happening. There's actually a bit of layering of the processing of the flavors and overall it's a very expressive and dynamic cup. Uh, and that's why I picked it. This is a coffee you can hand to your friends and they will be wowed. They will be very confused as well. They're like, whoa, coffee has fruitiness in it? Coffee is a fruit? What's going on here? Oh, wow. It's quite interesting because all of these aromatics make it into uh, the brew here. It, it seriously smells like citrus chocolate. It smells like those chocolate squares. It, it, it's... Okay, so much is happening here. We have a really predominant citrus note enveloped in chocolate. It does have some of that booziness that you might like, but at the end is where I get a lot of nice chocolate and I would say it's like a sweet chocolate. So this is interesting because it's pretty balanced in the sense that here's this acidity, there's layeredness in here, it's, it's boozy, there's a little bit of funkiness in there, but the finish of it is chocolate, it's sweet. The body of this coffee is also quite nice. Mm. Okay, so as it cools, this is where uh, we start getting a lot of that layering, a lot of that complexity, distinct separation between some of that processing, some of that chocolatiness, some of that citrus snow, and then it's sweet. So you can kind of experience a, a journey of processing uh, of complexity in the cup. And it's really fun to drink. I mean, this is a coffee that you can uh, just really sip on and be wowed on uh, every single sip because of how expressive these flavors are. And it's also a coffee that you can just hand to your buddies, hand to people who, uh, you know, maybe aren't so deep in the game when it comes to coffee, and they can taste it and they are gonna be like, whoa, there are uh, these really interesting fruit notes in coffee. And it's still very approachable because we get a little bit of that chocolate in there, but also it's just very sweet. So it's, it's an easy coffee to drink. And mm. yeah, that's, a, that's fun. So yeah, that is this coffee, whoosh whoosh, three day dry fermentation from our good friends at Mod Cup. If you have any questions, let us know, but otherwise, hope you guys enjoy this coffee and enjoy this week's Secret Stash. If you have any other questions on x Bloom or this coffee, please feel free to let us know, but otherwise, thank you guys so much for spending the time to watch this video. I really hope you guys enjoy this week, and we'll see you guys later.